I swear I heard someone knocking at my front door, but when I asked who it was, no one answered. Then I heard another knock and asked once again, who is it? No one replied. I hesitated to open the door at first, but my gut said open it now. When I suddenly opened the door, no one was there. I looked all around and all I found was a piece of paper on the ground. I slowly picked up the piece of paper that was folded in four. I unfolded the paper and what was on it was an address with a message below it saying, come alone. Now this is starting to feel like a movie. So much suspense is flowing through me right now. I mean, who knocks on someone's door twice then runs off leaving a creepy note like this? They are lucky my mom isn't home because she would go straight to this address and shoot up everyone who lives there with no questions asked, just for playing such a silly game. That's if this is even a real address to an actual location. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do or think. I do know that I am willing to do whatever it takes to save my bestie. It is now 9.42 p.m. My mom will be home by midnight. I can take an Uber to this address and pay the Uber driver extra to stay and wait for me. First, I'm going to need some money transferred into my Cash App account because my mom only gave me $100 in cash. Let me call her real quick. Oh my goodness, my mom is really turning into someone I never met before. I can't believe she actually sent me another $100 through Cash App. I think I'm beginning to like her again. My Uber will be here in 10 minutes. Let me go downstairs to the kitchen. I think I should at least take a knife with me. The way I'm feeling, I might have to kill someone tonight. As a matter of fact, my mom keeps a small can of mace in her party purse for when she goes out to party. She started packing mace ever since that one night she was attacked by a crazy man a few years ago while leaving a birthday party she had put together for one of her friends. Though my mom gets on my nerves, I love the fact that she is such a fighter and far from a pushover. I guess that's why I am the way I am, like mother, like daughter. I believe my Uber just pulled up. Let me put on my sneakers and head out. OMG, this Uber stinks so bad. This has got to be the filthiest Uber car I've ever been in. This is so embarrassing. Wherever I'm going, I just know that by the time I get there, I will be smelling like this filth. I just showered and now I feel so dirty. The best thing about this ride is the music. I can't wait to get out. The Uber driver has already agreed to wait for me. I already gave him Officer Whitley's phone number and told him if I'm not out within 20 minutes, he needs to call Officer Whitley and let him know that I am in danger. We are two minutes away from the address. I am so scared and nervous, but just the thought of me saving my bestie's life is keeping me sane. Okay, we are pulling up to the address. It's so dark outside. You would think these people would have their outside lights on. Wait, is that someone sitting on the stoop? I can't really see his face, but I have my mace ready. 